how to install the Swan Smart Doorbell and how to set it up. Now the first thing you need to do is to mark the mounting bracket with a pencil. So there are four screws to mark and ideally it should be 1.6 meter high. After I finish the marking, we can start to begin drilling. Now continue to drill and complete the four holes. Now we will secure the wall mount bracket with the four screws. Make sure they are nice and secure and tight. Now we are ready to mount on the doorbell, but make sure it is charged first before you begin. Now there are six holes uh, that you need to align the doorbell to the mounting bracket. At the bottom is a small security hole. You need to use a very tiny allen key that comes with the package. And this allen key will help us uh, tighten the screws at the bottom to make it secure. Now let's uh, mount the doorbell onto the wall uh, bracket. Now you need to uh, align them and then push it down so that it is locked into place. As you can see, you need to push it down. Finally, we need to lock up the doorbell with a security Allen key. So insert the key into the security hole at the bottom and turn it into the right direction to lock it up. Now the next step is to uh, pair the doorbell with the door charm. So insert a two uh, batteries to make sure they are high quality batteries. And then what you want to do is press onto the music button right here. And then immediately press on the doorbell. And this will allow the two devices to pair together. You can cycle through the different songs by pressing on the music button. Now you can also use the volume button to uh, change the volume. So if you continue to press it, it will go into the silence mode. Then go to loud, then low, and then lower, and then silent. Okay, now the next step is to pair the doorbell with your mobile device, whether it's an iPad, uh, tablet, or an Android phone, or an iPhone. We need to uh, pair it using an app. Now the app is called Swansbud, so you can uh, go to Play Store and download from uh, Play Store if you have an Android phone. So that's the app that you need, it's one buzz and then you need to download and open it. On the iPhone, you can download through the App Store. Now once it is uh, downloaded and installed on your mobile device, we can open it. In this video, we will use an Android phone as an example. The procedure is very simple. So here, um, you need to uh, sign up or sign in. If you haven't got an account, we need to uh, sign up for an account. Once you sign up, it will go to your email account and you need to activate it. So there is a link that you can tap on to activate the account. Now once it is um, activated, you can sign in with the username and password. So I'm just going to sign in, tap on the sign in button and we are now signing to the My Devices uh, page. We need to uh, set up the device. So here is the button, it says set up new device. So tap on that and it will show you how to uh, connect. So on the doorbell. So on the doorbell, press on the doorbell button and the reset button both at the same time. So press and so both at the same time. Then let go of the reset button and just hold the bell button for another five seconds. Now once you see the blue lights appears, they can let go of the bell button. Now on the phone here, we will tap on the next button. And it's right here, uh, go to Wi-Fi settings. Now on the uh, Wi-Fi, I'm just gonna tap onto the Swan um, VDB right here. 
So we want to tap on that. This will allow us to uh, connect to the doorbell to establish a Wi-Fi connection for the doorbell. Once the phone is connected with the doorbell, we can tap on the back key at the top. And in here, we need to put in the Wi-Fi router password, which is the password that you use on your Wi-Fi at home. And then tap on the next button. Now wait for the doorbell to connect to the Wi-Fi router. Now you can give this device a new name at the top or tap on the done button if you want to use the default name. Now you can press on the doorbell button to test it out to make sure it works before you mount the doorbell onto the wall. And ideally you may want to uh, set up the doorbell uh, before mounting it onto the wall and uh, make sure it is fully charged. Once you have set up and it is fully charged, we can uh, mount it onto the, onto the wall. Now you can see as soon as I uh, press on the doorbell button, a push notification has appeared and you can tap on that notification to view the live feed. On your mobile device, you can tap on the microphone button to talk or to uh, mute. And at the top here, there is an end button. So when you tap on the end button, the conversation will end and you can uh, close off the live feed. Now at the top here is a menu, you can tap on that and you can view recent activities and uh, every time someone at the door it will uh, capture the footage. And here is this one bus app on the home screen. So uh, let's uh, take a look. Now if you tap on the back key, go back, tap on the menu key, then uh, tap on doorbell settings and then tap on this one VDB and this is the menu, the settings menu uh, you can see what it looks like in here so you can do like uh, SD, format SD card configure Wi-Fi uh, battery status, you can view the battery status and other things uh, you can change the video exposure, change the motion detections and a lot of other settings you can go through and have a play around with your doorbell thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos